perfect gift comes down from God, from the Father of life. Amen. With whom is no bearables, neither shadow of turning. That's right. God is good. Amen. And His goodness draws people to repentance. Amen. For the goodness of God draws people to repentance. God wants to show Himself good so people will turn from their sins and turn yes. to God. Yes. So people will turn away from sin and turn to God. God is a good, good God. Yes, we have a better covenant established upon better promises. Actually, in the Greek it says we have a stronger covenant established upon stronger promise. Yes. In the Greek. It's not better, it's stronger. Amen. So, under this covenant, we have, we have more power to be able to walk the way yes. God calls us to walk. Yes. He enables us to do what He tells us to do. He enables us to do what He tells us to do. Amen. He's a mighty God. Mighty God. He's a mighty God. Mighty God. And He is in us. Christ is in us, yes. the hope of glory. Jesus Christ is in me. Jesus Christ is in you. You can walk like he walks because he's in you. Glory to God. But you have to realize that. You have to stand in that. You have to exercise that. You need to say that. That's why we speak the word here tonight. Yes. We speak the word here on a regular basis. Say this with me. I can do all things. I can, I can do, do all, all things. Through Christ, Christ. 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 Christ
Henceforth, but from now on, I call you not servants. For a servant or slave knoweth not what his Lord doeth. But I have called you friends, for all things that I have heard of my Father, I have made known unto you. Now he's talking to his disciples, to his closest disciples. The ones who he, who he made apostles. That's who he's talking to. He says, you have not chosen me. Say chosen. Chosen. He said, you have not chosen me, but I have chosen you. In other words, his twelve disciples, he personally chose them. What did he choose them for? Not to be saved. He chose them to be in ministry. Yes. He chose them to be apostles. The highest office in the church. He chose them to be apostles. You've not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you. They were ordained by Jesus. Hallelujah. You know, people get ordained by ministerial association. You know what I'm talking about? But Jesus is the ultimate God. He ordained it. You know what doesn't do you any good if you're getting ordained by a certain religious organization if you're not ordained by God? If the ordained, ordination by God, it really can't. Amen. Because then when He ordains you, He anoints you to do the work that He called you to do. Amen. And He chose you to do. Yeah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. And so he said, you've not chosen me, but I've chosen you, and I've ordained you that you should go forth and bring forth fruit, and that your fruit should remain, that whatsoever you shall ask of the Father in my name, he may give it to you. These things I command you, that you love one another. And so God chooses who he wants to use. He, he got, you know, he gets the choice because he's God. Amen. Now a lot of people think, well, I'm just going to be a pastor. But unless God chooses you to be a pastor, don't do that. You know why? Because then you'll have misery throughout your life. I'm serious. Do what God calls you to do. Do what God calls you to do. Thank you, Lord. And be faithful. He's a mighty God. He will use you if you'll be available. But then he'll use you what he wants to use you. Don't say, well, God, I'll do this, I won't do that. No, just be open to God. You say, Jesus used me. Jesus used me, and oh Lord, don't refuse me. For surely there's a work that I might do. And even though it crumble, Lord, help my will to crumble. Though the cost be great, I'll work for you. Have that kind of attitude with God. Lord, use me. I'm going to be used. Use me whatever you want, I'll do it. Have that kind of attitude towards God. And then God knows he's got somebody he can work with. Glory to God. Then he's got somebody that he can work with. But you have to be open to God. And he will choose you to do the work. God chooses who he uses. That's the title of this message. God chooses who he uses. Thank you. And here the Lord told his disciples that they didn't choose him, but he chose them and ordained them. Jesus was not talking about salvation here. He was talking about ministry here. Jesus called them to establish the church and ordained them to do it. Later on, on the day of Pentecost, he anointed them with the Holy Ghost to do the work of the ministry that he had ordained them to do. It just happened to be men that Jesus called for this part of the ministry that sometimes God calls women to do ministry to also. Yes, he does. God is not a respecter of persons, but he chooses who he wants. Now, he happens this day to choose men, those people that, that he wanted to make apostles here. But he made many women uh, apostles. You know, the Bible says there's firstly apostles and secondly prophets. And so there's many women prophets in the Bible. We're going to read about some of them tonight. Turn with me to uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 12. We're going to start with verse 25. First Corinthians chapter 12, we'll start with verse 25. 